Hello everyone. Welcome to the eighth tutorial in this series, Complete Guide to React JS. In this tutorial, we are going to see what is state. In the previous tutorial, we have seen what is functional components. We will use the same class and methods in order to see what is state. State in React component is nothing but a default storage a storage that is meant only for a class so this storage may be accessed somewhere else and it can also do some manipulation and thereby whatever the stored contents is present can also be modified the state is the only component that is available in the react for modification no, there is something called props. With respect to that, I will make another tutorial in future where you can refer the same. In this tutorial, we will see what is state. So I have explained state is a default storage. So let me take a look and see like how to write a state or make a state store some values. I'm deleting all the welcome messages over here and it displays like this perfect so right now I'm going to write a code to use state so whenever you're going to use a state you should write a constructor why you have to use a constructor a state is a class object it is meant for a class and hence it needs a constructor and after writing it, you can access the state by using this uh, dot state. This is nothing but the current class variables. If you are in a Java background, you will be well aware of it. This dot state equals to, I am mentioning an object. And over here, I am going to give message welcome to react world so i'm going to save it and it is throwing me some exceptions what it is it is asking me to use super constructor why so all the classes are nothing but a react one so this particular class uses super uses constructor and this is nothing but a react component it is rendered from the component so in order to make sure that this constructor is available for a react com is available of a react component you need to mention super over here so that the particular class state can be accessed yeah, I know it is a bit tough to understand theoretically. As of now, keep in mind, super is mandatory whenever you are using a constructor. That is what that is how React is being designed. And right now you save it. It is compiled successfully. So I want to display this particular state contents in my browser. So I'm going to write a code for it using slash h1 and I'm going to write this dot state dot message. Does it will give me the information? No. It will just give you this dot state dot message in the browser. So in order to get the particular exit command, what you need to do? You need to put in a curly braces. So once you put in the curly braces, 
the actual message whichever that is stored in the state is shown over here so is this the only usage of the state we can also do some other manipulation as well using this particular component called state what is it say for example in the real time i am going to a facebook page and if i am clicking some home or some parameters or something like that some photos like that so once you click on it you can see a big pop up gets open so maximizing the photo like that right even that how it is done like uh, how uh, those kind of components can be created even in fact we can use state over there we will write some example say for example i'll create a button over here i'm writing a button and i'm giving a name for that button say click here once i am clicking that particular button what does it happens is say for example think of think like i mean uh, you have a facebook page your photo and when you are clicking the like button what happens is it would uh, increase the number of likes 1 2 3 like that right like that i want to make this welcome to react world message to something else how i can do it yes you can do it through react js so by clicking that particular button what i am going to do is on click equals to i am going to write an anonymous class so if you guys are not aware of the arrow functions please uh, i'll be writing an another tutorial for it maybe you can just more condense from there doesn't request us it may call perfect so now i'm going to write a method call get message in this get message what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the message which is stored in this particular class so what i am going to do this dot set state and in this set state i am going to tell the message should be i have clicked here save it so it compile yes it is compiled properly so this particular message welcome to react world is the one which is getting displayed from the state itself which is stored right now i'm going to click it yeah click here so this dynamically modifies the content which ever you are seeing on the screen and how we have done that we have done that through state and uh, the state stored some value and it is shown over here so in our day to day life activities like in facebook like how i am going to explain this is imagine 
this as a imagine like uh, this as a um, photo and this photo is there and if you're clicking on the like button so when you click the like button the total number of likes over here is getting added if in case this particular get message right if I am adding some values like already existing values say one is there plus one I will be adding it incrementing it and I'll be showing it over here this is how in real time it is happening so how it happened through state so practice this and uh, make yourself comfortable with state and in the next tutorial we'll see what is props